everyone, this is Yumei. Hi, Aiden. What happened to you? I am a social distance alarm robot. A robot? Mm hmm. How, how does it work? Mm, you can just turn my switch on. It's beside my head. Let me see. Um, okay. Warning, warning, <laughs> you are too near to me. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Is it a social distance alarm? Well, let's shut this alarm and take off this. Actually, we really made the social distance alarm device, but not this one. So yeah, in the earlier stage of the global pandemic this year, we have received a lot of help from our friends in the global communities. So then we also wanted to contribute and then we developed this. Yep, this is our first demo, a social distance alarm. Uh, just open turn it. On it. No. Ah, so because I'm too close to you? Yep. This one, no, is functional well, but as you can see, the wiring and the components, it's messy. So we made some upgrades. Hmm. And this is ah the second the generation. Two. Yep. Yeah, it looks much more neat and clean. Mm -hmm. And the wires looks um, well organized. Yes, and it's also very easy to use. You know. Ah, very strong LED light. Yes, it's it's fracking light. Mm -hmm. So, but all those modules, it's just demos. And we did something more. But uh look at this. This is our Kipa, our final version of the social distance alarm. Yep. So it looks at, it looks very adorable. So how you can use it is like you can put this wrist, put this band on your wrist. Right? Like like what kindergarten kids usually do. Like this. And there is a switch. You can switch on. Oh, so it flickers when, when, we're when it's too close. Yep. And you can also use another switch. Ah, so it vibrates. And the sound and the alarm. I see. This is cool. Yep. You can also wear it this way. So it has the light and light sensor and what else? Distance. Sensor. Yep. So I guess kids can use it in the schools to help them enforce the social distancing. Yep. So Aiden, what do we have next? Next we have a FPGA development board, uh, the Seed Spartan Edge FPGA board. This board is powered by Xilinx and designed by Seed uh, in the C7 platform. Uh, it can work in two modules. Uh, it can work as uh, traditional FPGA boards in the standalone module and it also can work with Arduino. So you can just plug into any Arduino board and it can communicate with Arduino uh, with the uh, SPI interface. Okay. As you can see, uh, it can work with uh, the Raspberry Pi camera. And there is a ESP32 chip, so it also uh, with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth function. Sounds very powerful. Mm -hmm. In a world, this is a very powerful FPGA development board. So what can it do? Uh, well, uh, let me show you. Well, this summer, Xilinx cooperates with two of China's leading universities and launched summer course on FPGA. During this course, the many brilliant students, university students, submit their great work and using SEED Spartan Age board. Now let's introduce the excellent work to you. And the first we've got a uh, gesture recognition and uh, number recognition 
and the uh, waveform generator it's a uh, uh, electronic instrument and another electronic instrument multi china your RTSPI explanation oh, it's a game it's a little game it's drawing cards interesting yeah it's another it's game fun this one is just like the Super Mario, right? Yeah, it looks like the Super Mario. And the number recognition. One more game. Snake. Multi-functional. I think it's a color detection. And the control the LED. Turn the same color. Mm -hmm. And it's a encryption algorithm. It also works with AWS IoT and a Flappy Bird, one more game, MD5 encryption, another electronic instrument, hmm. and here it comes to the class B. Okay, let's see what's class B. A flower recognition device. Oh, it's like the app, right? But it's made the same, is it the same technology, but it's on the hardware? Yep, it's like the you know, Google image. Oh, okay. And this is a target detection. The neutral network. And oh, this one. I like this one. Ah, is it because it's anime? Yep. And it's just because of she, Miku. She's, you know, one of the most popular superstar in the ACG circles. Mm -hmm. And this, let's see, this project, uh, this image is out of focus. And by using the FPGA board, it becomes much more clear. Oh, this is cool, it's pretty cool. And next we've got a multi-box detector. Oh, look at these two kites. You know, this cat is just the same as my, one of my kites. Ah, how many cats do you have? I have three. That's cute. Yep, and the traffic sign recognition. Now you turn the traffic symbol into a digital signal. I think this one is you know, it's used for handwriting recognition. Ah, it, it reminds me the Big Bang Theory. Like in one episode, there's a uh, Leonard and Shelton and their friends are developing an app by mm -hmm. using the technology of handwritten recognition and they want to do the business. Oh. Yeah, they actually come to reality. Cool. AI mask detection. You know, for the conference nighting, mm -hmm. I think this project is pretty much useful, right? Yeah, instead of like human to check everyone's wearing mask or not, it has to use the sensor mm -hmm. to detect. It can tell you whether you wearing a mask correctly. Mm -hmm. And uh, MD5. And another electronic instrument. Compression smart door use an ape to control smart door alarm face emotion recognition. Oh, I wonder how that works. Face emotion, uh, and I'm wondering if this system can detect the emoji, you know? Uh, yeah, right. Uh, that's not interesting. And handwriting mathematic. Formula calculator. Ooh. Wow, it's not you know it's not only recognize your handwriting. It also can do mathematic I formula know. calculate. Yeah, like no one should like take math class anymore. <laughs> cool. This one is pretty yeah. very cool. And this is the machine re vision recognition of left eye, right eye. And 
you can obtain the corresponding depth information. Well, that is use this product is 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 useful. You can uh, you know the leader uh, often have the depth information. Well, that's the last one. Cool. So I think okay. there are many students who are having a great idea. Mm -hmm. They're very impressive, and they have applied the technology in the FPGA in different fields and industries. Mm -hmm. So yeah, good works. Very impressive. So now you believe? Yeah. So the board is actually quite powerful. Uh -huh. uh, well, that's the last one. Cool. So I think there's uh, many students who are having very impressive works and mm -hmm. have applied the technology of the FPGA in mm -hmm. different fields and industries. So yeah, great works. Mm -hmm. So now you believe? Yeah, definitely. This board is very, very powerful and be able to use in different fields. Mm -hmm. Cool. So I think that's now for today. Yeah. That's all we have. Okay. See you next week. See you next week.